This is one of the last European rivers still untouched by humans. Biebrza. Biebrza, the European Amazon. Film by Paolo Volponi. When flocks of geese arrive, Winter in the Biebrza Valley is slowly coming to an end. Bean, greater white fronted, grey lag and Canada geese stop here to gain strength for their further journey. Huge flocks of geese seeking food draw the attention of the biggest winged predator in Poland, the white-tailed sea eagle. At its best, the number of geese reaches 60,000 individuals. But the end of winter brings the sea eagles an easier quarry, a carcass. However, access to the meat is not guaranteed. The sea eagles brutally fight for precedence at the meal. Geese spend the night on overflow waters where they feel safe. During the day, they feed on surrounding meadows. The winner eagle has to be watchful. Hooded crows and ravens will do anything to steal a bit of meat. After about two weeks of intense foraging, the geese leave the Biebrza Valley. Is this elk wading through the marshes aware of the mystery of bird migration? After the geese fly away, the valley seems empty. Spring has come. Biebrza's waters overflow the valley. The overflows form a perfect environment for many unique animals. Smooth nudes have already adorned themselves with their breeding colors. The male nudes try to impress the females.
Will his fabulous dance convince his mate? Other amphibians have also started their mating season. They display probably one of the most spectacular shows in the Biebrza Valley. More frogs. The male more frog's intense blue color signals that they are ready to reproduce. The competitors are strong. Every male is waiting for the arrival of a female. Their noisy gathering attracts predators, including a grass snake, a species perfectly adapted to living in the marshes. Its appearance causes panic amongst the frogs. Then, the clever predator approaches a group busy pushing and shoving. At last, the grass snake attacks. However, to his surprise, the aroused frogs, instead of escaping, jump on him. They react this way to everything that moves, hoping that it's a female. The snake can only run away. The first green sprouts attract an elk to the older forest. In this swampy forest, one can spot cranes, sometimes white storks, and white-backed woodpeckers arguing about territory. The white stork is one of the biggest threats to amphibians during their mating season. With its deadly beak, it effortlessly pulls frogs out of the marshes. When the temperature rises, Biebrza Valley gets covered with a thick layer of fog. Creatures living here are like ghosts. More migrators from far lands arrive at the valley. Ruffs, thousands of ruffs. They share the marshes with cranes and northern lapwings.
black-tailed godwits are also forming pairs. However, in spring, it is the trumpeting call of cranes that dominates the Biebrza Valley. Love is in the air. Cranes form pairs for their entire life. Their perfect synchronization shows how strong their bond is. The more frogs have disappeared. The marshes are now full of their spawn. The world of aquatic invertebrates is extremely diverse. Some of the eggs get eaten, whereas embryos develop inside others. Similarly, in an egg of a smooth newt. The duck leech protects its eggs with its own body. Freshwater snails, on the other hand, do not have larvae. Young snails, resembling adult forms, are developing inside the eggs. The tadpole finally leaves its gelatinous egg coating. Will it really one day become a beautiful blue frog? The newt larva has also just hatched. It breathes through feathery external gills. From the first moments of its life, it's a fierce killer. Frogs lay an enormous amount of eggs, so at least part of the larvae can survive. Almost every aquatic predator hunts for them. Amongst them, the great diving beetle, which can even attack a small fish. Frog tadpoles are readily eaten even by the armored tadpole shrimp. This crustacean has existed in an unchanged form for 300 million years. This is a diving bell spider, the only aquatic spider in Poland. Using silk, it builds a tent with a bubble of air inside, which allows it to breathe underwater. The tadpoles have grown, but still they aren't safe. No matter their size, the diving beetle kills them without mercy. Leech larvae are developing safely under their mother's care. 
Teddy's fly larvae, however, have a different strategy. They hide in portable cases. They build them using their own silk, to which they meticulously attach nearly everything they can find. The everyday battle for survival sometimes ends with failure. After death, the tadpole shrimp becomes food for frog tadpoles and snails. After a few weeks, the tadpoles resemble frogs. Soon they will leave water. Life underwater and beyond it is strictly connected. Small aquatic animals are a food supply for bigger animals. Thanks to this natural richness, the Biebja Valley is unique on a European scale. When on Biebra's bank, carpets of marsh marigolds flourish, it's a sign that spring is at its full swing. Now the swamps heated by the sun are full of invertebrates. They're an open canteen, attracting many birds to Piepsha. The white-winged tern is beginning its breeding season. The male brings his partner a tasty gift. This is the so-called courtship feeding, which aims to convince the female to mate. Sometimes the female is clumsy and the partner's efforts are wasted. During this period, the water level by Biebja is highest. This is a perfect environment for marsh marigolds, which can cover tens of hectares. In a nearby older forest, marsh marigolds are also blooming. Cranes build their nests there. The croaking of male pool frogs resounds around the area. In large numbers, they have begun mating. When a male catches a female, he won't let her go until she lays eggs.
Both male and female cranes brood their eggs in turn. The incubation lasts approximately 30 days. The black stork builds its nest in higher parts of the forest. The young are covered with delicate white fluff. The caring parents look after their offspring for two and a half months. of Biebrza's wetlands seems like a European Amazon. The central and lower basin of the river are dominated by extensive swamps. They form large open areas, even 5 kilometers wide and 35 kilometers long. The so-called Wafki swamp in June is the elk's kingdom. A mother with her several week old young are enjoying the abundance of fresh vegetation. Here also lives one of the Europe's biggest aquatic warbler population. The elk after World War II almost disappeared from Poland. It survived only on Biebrza's marshes, where it has been protected since 1925. Currently, there are around 600 elks living here. The common snipe, elk, and aquatic warbler are living symbols of these swamps. Summer storms are common here. The lady's slipper. It's an orchid, typical for forest stands. A forest stand is a dry uphill amongst marshes, and at the same time, a totally different world than the surrounding swamps. Here, foxes raise their offspring.
The clouded Apollo, a butterfly protected and rarely seen in Poland, also favors Biebrza's forest stands. Here, field crickets sing loudly to prove their value. They can be heard from a far distance. Soon this cute fox will become a merciless predator. The European hare is well aware of this. In the isolated forest stands covered with dense vegetation, microlife thrives. Many unique spiders and insects are found here. the heart of this extraordinary swampy land. Is the river. Clean, unregulated Biebrza hides an incredible underwater world. Which of nature's mysteries are hidden here? Elsewhere, rarely seen plants grow thanks to the purity of her waters. And so do other extraordinary organisms. Their shape resembles that of plants. They are, however, animals. Freshwater sponges. Very primitive creatures. They appeared on Earth around 700 million years ago. Their animal nature is revealed, among others, by the presence of a simple immune system. It is due to their symbiosis with green algae, simple plants living in their cells, that the sponges are green. But Biebrza also means an abundance of fish. The most numerous predator in the river is the northern pike. It can grow up to one and a half meters and weigh more than 20 kilograms. It's 
huge, strong tail fin allows it to attack prey in a flash. Ides, European chaps, roaches and small perches form groups for safety reasons and often hide amongst underwater vegetation and sunken trees. Invertebrates living at the bottom of the river attract the crucian carp and the strictly protected spined loach. The riverbed is also home to the eastern crayfish and swollen river mussel, which is strictly connected to the reproduction of one of Biebrza's most unique, however inconspicuous fish, the Amur bitterling. The female, using her ovipositor, lays eggs inside the mussel's shell. However, the alien is often thrown back out. When the female succeeds, the egg and after that the larva develops in the safe interior of the shell. One of the most fascinating fish in Biebrza is the giant Wells catfish. It can grow up to five meters long and weigh 300 kilograms. Seen by few, the underwater world of Biebrza is full of nature's secrets. Valley, summer is beginning. At dawn on the swamps, white winged terns and white herons come to hunt. The terns are eating intensely. Soon they will leave the Piebrza Valley and begin their journey further south, so they must gather fat supplies. All of Piebrza's animals take advantage of the nutritional richness on the swampy meadows. Unfortunately, all over the world, this type of environments are vanishing. The Biebrza National Park protects one of the most important wetlands in Europe. It's not surprising that the largest white stork population in Poland lives here. But above all, this is a refuge for animals associated with swamps. The Alcon Blue is a butterfly strictly connected with the flowers of the marsh gentian, which grows only on swampy meadows. Draining this type of terrain to make way for crops has caused fading of the gentian in many places in Poland. The Alcon Blue lays eggs on its buds, so if the gentian disappears, so will this marvelous protected in Europe butterfly. As many as five young storks in one nest are rarely seen.
the white heron is a skilled hunter. The European weatherfish is fighting for its life, but it doesn't have a chance. The heron swallows it whole. This bird has been nesting in the Biebrza Valley for nearly 20 years. Its breeding colony is well hidden amongst rushes. The breeding season is nearly over. In nature, the cycle of life turns mercilessly. Autumn has come to the Biebrza River. Cranes are getting ready for migration. At night, huge flocks gather in the overflow area. The elks have heard nature's call. It's their mating season. During the last couple of years, autumnal flocks of cranes by the Biebrza River reached more than 10,000 individuals. Male elks wander on the swamps seeking females, loudly moaning on the way. It is also the red deer's mating season, often in the same area as the elks. However, they do not bother each other. The cranes for over a month now have been gathering energy supplies for their long journey. This is their last day in the Biebrza Valley. Their loud, joyful trumpeting call will return to Piepsha's marshes next spring. The elk is still looking for a partner. At last, he manages to sniff out a female. Now 
the bull has to behave subtly in order for the female to accept him. The new generation will be born in spring. Herons and ducks are also leaving the Piebra Valley. Autumn is coming to an end. The elk's antlers can grow up to 120 centimeters in length, with a span of 2 meters. They can even weigh 20 kilograms. After the mating season, the antlers are shed. New ones will start growing in spring. a moment when silence falls in the Piebra Valley. Winter by the Biebrza River is one of the harshest in entire Poland. Very few birds remain in the valley. Whooper and mute swans swim in the last unfrozen fragments of the river. When the water is flowing, beavers also come out of their lodges. They are safe in the water, but on land and on ice, they are an easy catch for predators. The foxes are also having a hard time. They have to cover big distances searching for food. The only animals that seem to be enjoying winter are otters. They swim very skillfully underneath the ice and with no effort pull out freezing frogs and crayfish. Comparing to them, beavers seem sleepy and slow. Elks during winter move from the swamps to pine forests. There they eat evergreen pine and fir needles. Wolves returned to Biebrza a dozen or so years ago. From that time on, hoofed animals have to beware of their natural enemy. However, wolves rarely hunt for adult elks. A 
At one point, the ice cracks. Winter is slowly giving in. When beams of sunlight heat the frozen water, the first crustaceans awake. They're called water lice. They are able to survive in icy water thanks to the presence of substances which lower the freezing temperature in their cells. Winter is the toughest period for animals. The weak or old are naturally eliminated. Thanks to this, others survive. The return of geese means another spring has come. Again, they form impressive loud flocks, counting thousands of individuals. This is how the yearly natural cycle turns in the Biebrza Valley. Have we already discovered all the secrets of this European Amazon?